Okay, so the idea here is to get a perfectly round, perfectly clean, tiny little hole that is exactly the diameter of the pin that you will be poking through this piece of aluminum. You first want to start by poking just barely through the metal while it's supported by a piece of cardboard and then lay the file flat on the metal and file back and forth about 10 times then flip it over poke the hole back through the other side and repeat this process about four times make sure that file is flat don't use just the tip of the file So the next step is to confirm whether your hole is actually as perfectly round and clean as it needs to be to take a really sharp image. So we're going to take the lens over to the light table, set it right on the light table, and then use this magnifying loop or lens to confirm just exactly what kind of situation you have. There is a sample attached to the light table that you can check out for comparison. If your pinhole looks like the sample, you are good to go. If not, try again. Final step, once you have a good pinhole lens, is to mount it to the inside of your camera. You're gonna want to put four pieces of tape on the colored side of the metal and make sure that tape overlaps or overhangs by about a half an inch all the way around so that you will have some good adhesion to the inside of the camera. And I'm just trimming mine to make it a nice square Then you're going to lift the lens off of the cutting mat and gently place it inside the camera and flip the camera over so you can see to center the pinhole. Once you have it relatively centered, then you're going to want to press really firmly, really get all the wrinkles out of the tape so it's nice and tight. You don't want any air or light leaking in around that pinhole. The last thing I did there was I just passed the pinhole one last time through the hole to make sure it was free of debris and perfectly round.